We're back here in the TMN TV studio with Dr. Jay Self. Thank you for joining us tonight, Dr. Thanks Self. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're going to get right into it. How are the campaigns this year different from what they have been in previous years? At the presidential level, it's been kind of unique in that uh, Hillary Clinton is a very traditional candidate running a very traditional campaign, and Donald Trump, on the exact opposite end of that, is a very untraditional candidate running a very untraditional campaign. Uh, one of the things that's most notable uh, is, is their uh, get out the vote efforts, or what uh, commonly is referred to as the ground game. Uh, Hillary Clinton has offices all over the country, in every state, masses of volunteers getting people out to the polls. Donald Trump was largely relying on the RNC, and the RNC was not, cannot deliver it by itself. He did not put as much money, time, and effort into the get out the vote effort. So uh, the, the, basically the, the traditional, the, the common opinion here will be that he will probably suffer as a result in, in battleground states. By being on a college campus, have you seen a difference in how millennials have responded to this election in response to versus those in Generation X? No, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I, I think it's, it's kind of a, a, a ritual, a rite of passage that every generation in their first elect, uh, presidential election comes up. Uh, there's some nitpicking. There are people who say, oh, it's a lesser of two evils or or things like that. I don't think millennials are any other any different than any other generation when they vote in their first presidential election. That's probably true. As millennials and being on this college campus, we've seen a lot of people with a lot of opinions this year, but they don't really differ from the opinions I've seen back home. Um, how do you think this election is impacting students at the college level here at Truman specifically? What have you seen? Uh, I think what I think is interesting is you're probably seeing people argue more angrily now in, in a way that you haven't in past generations. Part of that is largely due to things like social media uh, and niche markets for uh, news coverage. Uh, when, when I was in college, uh, we'll just say a long time ago, there wasn't a lot, there, there were you know, three major networks, there were a couple of cable stations and that was really it. Now there's, you can get news from any number of sources and you can live in your own little world and find the news that you agree with that you like and not have to deal with facts that are unnecessarily unpleasant to your opinion. What do you feel like that does to, to the way that we, we vote and the way that we look at the issues? I think what it does is it skews the way people understand what the facts are. And as a result, we start to think the people who are disagreeing with me clearly don't know what they're talking about, and therefore it, it can denigrate into a shouting match uh, and, and name calling pretty quickly. And, and it, doesn't, it, it doesn't necessarily uh, contribute to a good debate. 